Let the ministry keep quiet. People come in because you have not been given the directive, other are in different category and category, as you name them. At the end of the day, Indians enter. People from South Africa enter, and they are hit. Thoroughly by Indians and what, what, these doctors know what they do. That's the A, what, how do you coordinate? So, Who gives you the other? Those are very key areas. I am, I am, I am, I am, I am. Because we don't want to mislead ourselves. Because, because Dr. Ayun was saying that, you know, the countries adopt measures according to how they can manage, I think, in financial terms. How expensive would it be on somebody who is kind, maybe an investor, that you can't subject them to your normal, your standards, so that they can do the test? Because after all, even when you go to Europe, you do the test on your cost. On your cost. On your, at your cost, from your pocket. So that they do the PCR test to confirm that you are indeed negative to the same case. Now, why do you enter? Then you are saying, it should be Ministry of Health, Uganda, to shoulder the burden of testing someone who is coming in. How? The, no, the, the, the issue, the issue, uh, honorable members, is that, first of all, this is just one of the border points. You know that is, there is Maraba, there is everywhere. So you can't have, yes, you don't have secluded guidelines for one place and not for the other. Therefore, we depend on the central authority of the Ministry of Health. Even this categorization, as I have just said, is given to us by the Ministry of Health with collaboration of the world bodies like World Health Organization. And once it is given, it is, if you have not it is always after pronouncement by this representative. But we are also, can we come up in the task forces that guide, <coughs> yes, guide, not, not, we are, we are just having an input, an input. Say, we at the airport, there is this, what we have seen, mm -hmm. but subject to the mandated authority to decide. For instance, we can't just say, we have closed an airport because we have seen so many years. No, can we advise? It comes as a, as a yes, 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 yes. If I can we advise here, that you guys advise that may everybody who comes to this airport and to be granted entry into the country should be subjected to the PCR test. I think we are not going to advise. No, let me give this uh, to the director of airports and he says something also. But, but for sure, that one won't be uh, uh, from us. We can just discuss the minute that was and say, this of course, airports are not known to advise that, that we, we subject passengers to further, further, further uh, 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 especially when we, they have not called the traffic for many years, for many, for many months, we are receiving passengers from and none of them so we don't think, that, like airlines, for instance, I even saw that question. Airlines have remained, the sitting capacity of airlines has remained the same. Do you know why? Because they assume, and it is a global practice, not just for you. They assume that once you enter an aircraft, you are negative. Mm. So they have not changed the sitting capacity, they have not done anything for purposes of business. And that is a, a global standard. We have to go with that. All of that we agree with you, but what we are seeing is that there is a problem here. Let me give you a situation. The chief justice of Uganda closed all courts, and people are rotting in prison because of COVID. Whether they have it in prison or what? Yeah, now, we are looking at a self-accounting entity, civil aviation authority. They are, they are in fear of death of people, and they are told that there is a very new variant in India, which is Another, but every day people are entering. And the ministry, is, you are waiting, sitting, the no. ministry to come. Say, please, please, after one week, people have been dying, they have, they have entered, so who has got us contacted it? Then you say, wow, oh, now we have closed category A, because the ministry has been At every point, Honorable That minister. stage is very difficult. At every, at, at every point, Honorable Minister, there is a measure yeah, to be followed by the hmm? is a minister. 
Yes, I'm a minister. <laughs> so, you know how you do. And you will be, you will, if I want to meet me again in the government, that's what. I'm aware of that one already. I'm aware of that But I've been with you all along. That's what I am so, but, uh, but I think you are getting our issue. Getting it we want to find out. You see, we cannot make a report that is not well informed. Yes. We want to find out where did the problem come from, the new variants who enter our country. And it is because your mistake. Don't the, like the, the this is not your ministry. It might not be your mistake. Well, because you have this a country. Mm -hmm. is because you have a representative who sits on F, the FDR. Yeah. That thing is very key. So, so we are, we for, like the, at the worst, at the beginning of the pandemic, in fact, it was more, that question was more relevant at the beginning. We kept expecting to close the airport, actually. You remember in the yes. Actually, they really closed. Yes, in, including people even from Wuhan. You remember in Wuhan? And we were saying, and we delayed a little bit. Maybe the first case could have not been actually closed. We delayed a little bit. And, and, and here you are very, very, very right. Yeah, that the, Maybe we could have done that a little bit earlier. We are here holding and, and checking the temperatures and, no, and, uh, yes, and doing all sorts of things. I think members, we should appreciate that yes. the CAA has no right to close the airport. No. It is the government of Uganda no. that instructs them to close them. But So one. that is a weakness which we have. Absolutely. Are let me they see can only advise the government yeah, man. Absolutely. But I want to make at the same time. Yes. Uh, yeah, they can only advise government in the natural task force. Mr. Chairman. And it finalizes that. I, I, agree, I agree with you. So you've seen so where None of us is saying that CA can close the airport. But the CA can have the authority to close, stop some planes from coming as long as they discount the no, routine. No, no, you don't have that authority. No, no, no. Do you want it? We don't have. <laughs> yeah, you have to get it from. <laughs> because if they say that this plane is coming from India, let me say this, Mr. Chairman. I want to conclude with this. You see, Mr. Chairman. <laughs> yes, he's fearing. He's fearing, Mr. Chairman. Why? Why am I saying, Mr. Chairman? Why am I insisting on this, Mr. Chairman? Mr. Chairman, why am I insisting? We are not only, we, are not, we don't sit in Kampala and listen to the airport. We know what was happening in Ethiopia. And you know that Ethiopia has a number of lights. They stopped some of these areas. That's what we are calling category A. So we want to look at whether if it is, it is the law which is weak on that, we have to gather men who are act. You can, we cannot close the airport, the national, but if they say that India has been struck by a new pandemic, and their flights coming from India to Uganda. CAA would have to wait for the minister. That is a, that's irregular. Mr. Chairman, that, that's what I was saying. No, we have to come in with the government now. Yes. So, so we are the government. Government. It's getting an answer from here, Chairman. They are saying it. They are saying it. Most of it. Can we proceed with this specific answer? Yes. Yes. The history we have listed to Georgia for one year. <laughs> Please. I, I just want to repeat, as the chair, the category of countries, category one, two, and three, uh, which uh, did you mention. Category one is India. That's uh, apparently where the Delta variant was highly you know, discovered. And don't come to Uganda. And then category two. They, they actually, the Indians come. As Ugandan Indians, they have Ugandan passports. So they come, that's the witness, right? Yes. Uh, yes, they come yes. back with the Ugandan passports and they are out. Yes, and she are the ones that came with the Indian yeah. passports. You see, they that's not the issue. No, that's not the issue. But it's not about passports. It's not about passports. It's about the country of origin. Where you're coming from. I know those who have refused to come up to now. And they have good yeah. business. Yeah. That, does that matter, doctor? That is not about passport, it's about the human being coming from this country. No, no, no. Category one is saying that we only Indian. allow Ugandans to come back. Because there's nowhere that so it doesn't matter whether you are Indian or Ugandans are Indians. Yes, that is what I was saying. <laughs> and when they come home, they are so they come back with Ugandan passport. And category two, uh, we mentioned the nine countries. And UK is one of them, and UK is one of them. Uh, the countries that you mentioned. So uh, the, the Minister of Health has been followed in the WHO and others. Yes, they, there's always a delay. There was a delay. And uh, as the DG mentioned, it takes uh, a national state ownership and uh, government to close the 